Today's lesson is about cosine law and a sine law application. Example one: The angle of elevation of the top of a mountain are measured from two beacons A and B at C. The measurements are shown on the diagram. If the beacons are fourteen seventy-three meter apart, how high the mountain? According to the given information, we can label A B. That's fourteen seventy-three. We are looking for the height. This is H. In order to figure out the height of this mountain H, we have to solve this right triangle T B N. We have to figure out one side of this right triangle, T B. Let's label as X. The reason why I got to use this X because T B is the common side of a two triangle. Let's go to this triangle now. We have A B T. For this triangle ABT, we can figure out、uh, this angle by forty one point two minus twenty nine point seven degree. That's、uh, equals eleven point five. This is、uh, according to the theorem of、uh, exterior angle of、uh, a triangle. The exterior angle of、uh, a triangle equals the sum of、uh, these two remote interior angles. So for this one, supposed to be equal to angle A plus、uh, angle B. When you deal with、uh, this kind of problem, figure out、uh, all angles if possible. Therefore. For this triangle ABT, we can use the sine law to figure out this、uh, x. We got the x over sine twenty nine point seven equals fourteen seventy three over sine eleven point five degree. Then using cross multiply, you got the x equals. Fourteen seventy three times the sine twenty nine point seven over sine eleven point five. Put into calculator, you will get x equals thirty six sixty point six twenty two. Then for this triangle TBN, we can figure out this、uh, h. You can use a、uh, Sokantova. But after you learn sine law, sine law is much easier than Sokantova. Therefore, from now on, I recommend you should use、uh, sine law instead of、uh, Sokantova for all right triangles. You can use、uh, x over sine ninety. Sine ninety equals one. Equals. H over sine forty one point two. Therefore, for this H equals X. That's the thirty six sixty point six twenty two times sine forty one point two over sine ninety degree. Sine ninety that equals to one. This is one. So. Basically, we plug top into the calculator. We get twenty-four eleven point two one three meters. That's the height of the mountain. Example two: Find the measure of for angle RPV. That means、uh, this angle. You are given the side of for this.、Uh, 
rectangular. The length equals six, width equals five, and height equals three. From the given information, we can figure out the length for PR by doing Pythagorean theorem. That's a square root, six square plus five square. You will get a square root, 61. For length of PV equals, this is a three. So we got a square root of six square plus three square, square root of 45. You don't have to simplify because we need to put into calculator to figure out the angle in the future. Now length of RV equals square root five square plus three square. That is um, 34. Then for this uh, triangle, we already got the three sides. We need to figure out the angle. Definitely you have to go to cosine law. Therefore, cosine angle RPV equals, let's label each side so that we can use the pattern for cosine law. This is square root of 61, square root of 34, square root of 45. We got a square root of 61 square plus square root of 45 square minus the square root of 34 square all over two times the square root of 61 times the square root of 45. Answer will be 0 0.687. For angle RPV, that's equals the inverse cosine 0 0.687. Answer is 46.598 degree. Example 3. A ship is uh, sailing north from a uh, point A towards point D. Point C is 175 km north of A. Point D is uh, 60 km north of uh, C. There is an island at E. The bearing of E from A is uh, 55 degrees. The bearing of E from C is 134 degree. This is a IB exam. First of all, we need to know the concept. The bearing of E from A is a 55 degree. That means that this is a 55 degree. The bearing of E from C is a 134 degree. And also we know point C is a 175 kilometer north of A. Point D is a 60 kilometer north of C. Let's talk about the bearing of O from A, B, C, and D. First of all, you need to draw a line pointing to the north. That will be here. The bearing of O from A will be this angle. The bearing of O from B will be this angle. The bearing of O from C will be this angle. That's 180 degree. The 
bearing of O from D will be this angle. When you draw the angle of a bearing, make sure that's a counterclockwise. For A, find the bearing of A from E. First of all, we need to draw a line pointing to the north from the point E. Then we know this is the angle we are supposed to figure out. Let's extend it, uh, this line. We know that uh, this angle, adding red one is 180 degree. Since uh, these two lines both pointing at uh, north, they are parallel. These two angles must be equal to each other because they are alternate interior angles. Therefore, for A, the bearing of A from E equals 55 degree at 180 degree equals 235 degree. For B, find the CE. Assume CE equals X. We label this is X. We need to figure out this angle by doing 134 degree minus 55 degree. That's a 79 degree. Because 134 is the exterior angles of this triangle C, A, E. Exterior angle of a triangle equals the sum of the remote interior angles of the triangle. After you figure out angles for this triangle C, A, E, we can figure out the value of x by using sine law that is uh, 175 over sine 79 degree equals x over sine 55 degree cross multiply you will get the x equals 175 times sine 55 degree over sun, 79 degree. We get 146.035 kilometer for CE. Let's label in the graph. This is 146.035. Last question. Find DE. We need to connect this DE now. For triangle DCE, we label DE as Y. For triangle DCE, we are given SAS. Then looking for this S. We got to use the cosine law to figure out this y. Therefore, we got y squared equals 60 squared plus 146.035 squared minus 2 times 60 times 146.035. 0, 0.35 cosine 134 degree. Put into calculator we got. Then you got to do square root of both sides. You got the y equals de equals 192.612 kilometers. Now go to last example. 
The following diagram shows a circle center O and a radius R millimeters. The circle is divided into five equal sectors. One sector is OAB, and an angle AOB equals theta. Write down the exact value of a theta in radians. That will be 2 pi over 5. The area of a sector AOB is a 20 pi millimeter square. Find the value of R. Area of a sector, that's one half of theta R square. We know this uh, theta means a central angle in radian. That is a uh, angle AOB. We need to figure out this uh, R square. This is a power pattern. We need to isolate R square. So multiply by two both sides. Then you need to divide it by theta. Therefore, we got the R square equals 2A over theta. Then we need to do is a square root of both sides. R equals square root 2A over theta. We plug in 2 times 20 pi. Theta, that's 2 pi over 5. Pi, pi reduced because this is a both in the numerator position. 2, 2. And this 5 jump to the top. It will get square root of 100. Means 10. Now we label. This is a 10. Here's 10. Find A, B. We already know the angle for theta that's 2 pi over 5. For this uh, triangle OAB, we are given as a as pattern, we need to figure out uh, the remaining side. We got to use cosine law. Therefore, for AB squared, equals 10 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 10 times 10 cosine 2 pi over 5. When you put it into calculator, make sure the mode you have to highlight uh, radian this time. Then we get um, length for AB squared equals 138.197. Then we do square root of both sides so that we can get the length of AB equals. Length for AB is 11.756 millimeters.